We're going to switch back to sectors now, and um, the sector, one of the biggest questions coming out of the pandemic has been, how has it affected the office sector? I think um, we all have views as to retail. We have views as to multifamily and logistics. And um, for me, at least, understanding what's happening in the office sector is, is perhaps the most challenging. Is, is there a shift to work from home? Um, what happens to primary markets like New York versus secondary markets like Raleigh or Charlotte or Nashville or Atlanta? Um, what happens in terms of the demand for, at the end of the investor panel, ESG concerns about offices? What kind of office do we want? Lots and lots of questions about offices. Uh, our next speaker is Mike McNamara. Mike is the global head of real estate investments at Manulife Investment Management. He's based in New York. He's been through numerous cycles, although I would quick, quickly point out not nearly as many as I have. He's a much younger man than I. Uh, but he can draw on those experiences and, and share with us what he thinks is happening in the office market. But before I, before I bring Mike on screen, I do want to acknowledge uh, Christoph Schumacher, who's in the, in the room. Christoph was recently named, I get, get the official title, Global Head Real Assets Private Markets at Manulife. Uh, most of you know Christoph from his time at Union or more recently at Credit Suisse. We're delighted that Christoph has joined us from, from Zurich today, and he's happy to chat with anybody about the Manulife platform. Um, after Mike's presentation during one of the breaks or afterwards. Christoph, thanks for joining us. Now, Mike McNamara from New York, please. Well, thank you very much, Brad. Can you hear me okay? All set. All set, great, thank you. Well, those are, uh, <clears throat> I've never followed a U.S. Senator before, so that is, uh, that is quite, uh, quite, an, quite an impressive panel you just had there. And, uh, and I hope I can, uh, can, can at least share a little perspective from Manual Life's uh, view on the, on the office uh, uh, perspective, on the office sector. Uh, first of all, good morning from New York City. Uh, good afternoon to those who are fortunate enough to be at what looks like a lovely venue that Brad has set up for, uh, for you to be in person. Hopefully we can all be together uh, next year. Uh, I can tell you, I, as I mentioned, I sit here in New York City and I walked around the city yesterday afternoon and I can report to you that New York City is far from dead. While we don't have the traffic, the foot traffic that we are used to, I have been coming into the city almost every week for the last year and uh, minus a few weeks here or there. And I have noticed a continued pickup in foot traffic, more specifically over the last month. It is really picked up. I have an apartment in Hell's Kitchen. I walked around Midtown. Now in Rockefeller Center, you, don't, you obviously don't have as much foot traffic as you would normally have but it is increasing significantly. So hopefully that trend is gonna continue and next year we'll be looking back at this with a little bit of a different perspective. Let me make sure my slides are moving here. Okay, great. Uh, well, my presentation today is entitled Office Real Estate, a post COVID perspective. Uh, I really do hope we're in the post-COVID, beginning of the post-COVID era. But firstly, I want to advise that it is just that. It is a perspective, and I think it will be years before we're able to fully determine how the pandemic has an impact on the office sector. Uh, with that being said, I think it's important that we go back, before we go we'll look forward, we go back and look at where we were a few short years ago, a few just a few, just a year ago, which seems like forever ago. A year ago, we were hearing from companies like Spotify, Facebook, and Twitter that other, and others that were very comfortable with the remote working environment. And the world has changed and we're never gonna need any office space anymore. And we're happy for everybody to stay at home. Well, many of those companies, as you'll see, as I go further into my uh, presentation, that tune has quite changed a little bit. In fact, Facebook recently signed a lease here in New York City for 750,000 square feet. We also hear that Google has saved over a billion dollars in travel and promotion expenses, personnel expenses over the last year. But I believe that that money will quickly be respent as they move into their, uh, their move back into an office uh, environment. 
Since the beginning of COVID, CBD office transactions have been basically frozen, down almost 75%. The drop in the volume, this drop in the volume is more driven by less deals 